good morning everybody and uh, welcome to the channel today we're going to do something a little different we're going to do a product review on a lure and it is berkeley nessie powerbait 7 7 inch and this is the golden shiner 9.99 is what I paid for this plus tax. I think for tax it ended up like $11. So we're going to clip this on here and we're going to give it a try. Tell you a little bit about this bait. Soft plastic, not like the hard plastic kind. Got some glides right there. Where the pins are those are glides to help it go through the water nice and even it's got a mesh joint there to hold it uh, pretty tight and right here it's got a hook clip so when a big fish hits it bam hook pops right out uh, kind of like that actually clips right up in there pretty easy I'm pairing that up with one of my favorite reels which is the lose Mach 1 reel and rod combo I'm sorry story behind this thing is back when uh, the pandemic was going on and we were getting all those stimulus checks I had some extra money coming in because I was still working so I like I tell everybody I stimulated myself I got this on sale the whole combo, which is really nice, it's a uh, six foot ten medium heavy. Um, I am I am eight. This is an I am eight rod. This is three years old, so I think I can give it a fairly good product review if I wanted to. Now with this Nessie. As you can see, it's a slow sinker. It doesn't sink very fast, and I kind of like that. Because this water is deep. There's a lot of weeds out there. I'm going to get this to where it just barely drops. Right about there. Let's get it a little bit more. There we are. I think that'll work. Yeah. I'm give this a try out there and see how we do with it. It's a one ounce lure and I'm not used to throwing a one ounce lure so and the pros tell you you can just reel it back slow you can give it a jerk like a jerk bait you can do this with it kind of like so you weren't looking jerk, jerk with the hand with the uh, reel handle there you can kind of see the action coming through the water this is a slow sinker I would imagine anything that bites that. See how the action? Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that action. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can catch anything on it. See that coming through the water now. Yeah. Well, even if I just <laughs> bring it back like that, it's got great action. All right, I'm gonna get down here a little ways because if there are any big fish today, and these things are known for catching big fish, they're gonna be right along this rock ledge. Like 51 degrees right now out here. Um, 
if anybody watched my videos earlier late last week like Friday you saw that we had like seven inches of snow which I didn't really care for but you can see right over there we still got some of it left it went away pretty quickly because the next day it was like 40 something degrees I brought another rod. I brought another. I brought my tackle bag back here. I'm pretty much just gonna fish with this all day long. Just try it out. I've never, never fished with anything like this before. And then I got a buddy, Adam, that swears by him. He's gonna be with me tomorrow out here at this very same place. Uh, 51 degrees today. Tomorrow is supposed to be up pushing 60 I think got a, our wind is coming out of the south got our beautiful swans coming up this way I think it's when I think it's deep down it's really not really slow sink oh man this thing got some action great action to it Let's see if I can do this without backlashing it not used to throwing a one ounce weight uh, lure either put 15 pound tests on this I normally run with 12 pound tests but uh, I figured with this maybe I might need a little bit more just in case the big old fish decide to get a hold of it I almost got the nine inch bait, but it weighs two ounces and I wasn't for sure. Maybe somebody can tell me I, I'm, I'm using a 610 medium heavy. The biggest I've got is a uh, seven foot medium heavy. I didn't know if my rod and reel would handle a uh, two ounce weight. So I thought I'd better just get the one ounce. I knew that it would handle that. See right there, I'm gonna twitch it like a jerk bait here and see what happens. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I am gonna loosen this up just a bit. Didn't get it out much farther, but get it out a little bit. They said you can also fish this like a jerk bait too. Well, maybe I was watching uh, Mike Acinelli on this last night. Of course, he's a Berkeley pro, and he's gonna 
you know, know what to do with this. I think he was one of the ones that designed it, helped design it. I'm not for sure, don't quote me on that. I don't think it would do too well in cover, so I'm not really too concerned about throwing it out there with the um, right out there with the beaver uh, den. Water's pretty unclear. I've seen it clearer than this before, but this thing will actually roll over on you. That's pretty cool too. sink for a minute. See what happens when it goes all the way down to the hydrilla here. See, I can, I'm like jerking my, with a real handle, like this. I'm not really jerking the rod, just a real handle. I absolutely love it.
I'm going to try and play it around with the retrieves basically today just to see what it does. I mean, now I'm doing the old fashioned jerkbait type retrieve just to see how I can work it. And that really looks like a wounded bait fish coming through. See if I can get it on camera coming through for you guys when it gets up here closer. And there we go, look at that. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. line right about out near where the thing fell at so let's see how that works I guess what I should do is throw it here a little closer so I can see the sink rate a little bit better and you know how long it takes to drop about 8 or 10 feet.
think that's what I'll do. I'll throw it right out here. Put that right there. That way I can watch it. Yeah, I finally got down by the bottom and got myself a leaf. How about that? Now, I, I do know that right out there, where I tossed this, there's a drop off. How far it drops down, I'm not for sure. I want to say at least, oh, maybe five, maybe, if that. No, I lied. I was. I, I told you that I was going to fish with this uh, more, but I'm too impatient. So what I'm going to have to do is switch off to something else for right now. A couple more casts here, and once I learn to fish with this a little bit better, which I know that's that's the secret is learning how to fish with it is just to keep fishing with it, but. Like I said, I'm too impatient for that. So I think I will clip on a jerk bait and try my hand at jerk baits today. Because today looks like a really good day for jerk baits. Looks like a really good day for this if I could. <laughs> get something to bite it, but 